Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And I'm Nova. And welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Last time, the ocean was cursed. And this storm is raging all over the world. And Jabun, the, the ocean, is he an ocean spirit? Yeah. He was sent into hiding by Ganondorf, who yep. completely dismantled the island that Jabun lived at. I don't know why it, a s ocean spirit lived on an island instead of the water, but he did. And this time we're going to be starting off the episode by seeing Grandma, since it's been a number of episodes since we have done that. So let's go say to hi, gra hi to Grandma. Oh, un... Link, Ariel, don't go. Don't leave. Ugh. Don't leave your poor old Grandma all alone. Ugh. She's sick. And apparently blind. Because she can't see us. Yeah, I always wondered why she couldn't see him standing right in front of her. <laughs> We're right here, Grandma. We'll be okay. We're right here. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> leave. Uh... It's not abundantly clear what we're supposed to do here. It really isn't. In no. fact, in our first playthroughs of the game, we struggled with this. We could not figure out what we're supposed to do. Uh, but, ignore that mailbox for now. But what I would like to do is go see a rock. Um, last time we were here, the first episode, uh, there was a rock. That was cool. Um, covering up a hole in the ground. And there was a sign that talked about the Great Fairy Spring. So now that we have bombs, which we also got last time, I would like to go bomb that rock. And um, in hindsight, I actually noticed something about that rock and that what? whole thing in general. That, the the forest that we're going to is eerily similar to the, the, um, the first part of Ocarina of Time when you're going through the castle grounds. How? Because there is a great fairy spring, also these are mini blends, which we've seen before, um, there's a great fairy spring that you have to bomb um, at a later point to get the, the fairy there. Just like an Ocarina of Time. You have to crawl through the thing, just like an Ocarina of Time. And even if you compare the layouts of them, it's a, kind of similar. Uh, the wind is going just the right way. Have you noticed that? No. It's, pr it's actually fairly similar. Wh while we go through here, keep an eye out and see if you, see if you notice it. Because I sure notice it. Now, I'm not talking about when you're going through the garden itself where, with the maze. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when you get through the, the gates. And you have to climb up around past the gate. Mm -hmm. And then you have to jump down off of the gate. Oh, hi. Wow. You're here. How did this get here? What are they called again? Mothulas? Yeah. How did it get here? You know, you should have let him live. And <gasps> friends, um, I can't get them all. Only a couple of you. Hello, hello, and hello. We're going. Are they the same guys, or are we na renaming them? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what our. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's get. I only want one. I only want one. Um, are we gonna name them differently? Yeah, he needs a new name. S um, um. Um, Herb? Herb? I kind of like Herb. Okay. Herb? Okay. This is Herb. He's living out in the sticks, and he's about to go bye-bye. So I don't know why we named him. He's about to be gone forever. Maybe. Let's go in the hole. Also, this guy's... There's a little guy down here following me. Stupid creeper. He might stick with us through the cave. Oh! Stick with us? Oh. <laughs> that was unintentional. Yeah, most of your puns are. Because you don't like puns. Exactly. You like great fairies, though. <laughs> right? Only if they give you stuff. When do they not give you stuff? Allow me to aid you, aid, your, aid you in your quest, she says. They actually remind me a little bit of, um... Oh, my, my Japanese is failing me. Um, of this one... This one deity in, I think, Buddhism or something. Um... I talked about it in Skyward Sword. There's a boss based on it, but it has six arms. And this is... A, is it Akuma? I think it's Akuma that I'm thinking of. Now, those of you who actually know what it is, you're facepalming here. You know what you're also facepalming by? The fact that I'm getting rid of this completely. Uh, because... That's th okay, that's okay. We'll get something better. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, what, what I'm doing here is getting a ferry, because what, what do we need when we are ailing? We need a ferry. What would Grandma need? A ferry. Yeah, so it only makes sense. I've actually tried feeding potions to her, and it doesn't work. But the fairy will will get her to be chipperized in no time. I think it took us about five tries with potions and fairies to try and get it to work our first time playing this. Because we didn't know that you had to target her and then release the fairy. But you actually have to target her and release <gasps> Friends! Should I kill these guys? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. I like how the, I like how these ones have uh have the lanterns. That's cool. There are actually two types of moblins too. Have you you've noticed that? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even hit him. They punched each other. He, Do you see that? And he just punched his friend again. Okay, let's just kill you. Notice that their lanterns didn't burn the grass down. This is true. Okay, I'm I'm just killing them to get their get their necklaces. Now I could I could just use my grappling hook, but I kind of want to just Or you could bomb him. I just want to murderize him. Can we please kill you? Die. Yeah, throw a bomb at him. Just die already. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for dying. Also these guys aren't really hostile. They're they're just kind of chilling. Okay. Oh, and we got a wallet upgrade, by the way. I didn't really make note of that, but now we can carry up to 9,999 rupees, right? I I wasn't paying attention. No. Me either. I is this the biggest wallet upgrade? No. Are you I sure? There are two. I think this is. Oh yeah, because it's an orange rupee when you finally get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> what? See him? Yeah. See him? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk to him, but I'm cut over because I've changed the wind. Fanciness. Fanciness. Over Killery. Over Killery Clinton. Hello. Ho oh, ho. Oh, so close. If only I could fly to the top of that hill. If only beneath that rock head, the triumph. Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It's a secret. Yes, quite a secret. It's a secret to everyone. Huh. No idea who you could be talking about. Let's just go down here. <laughs> Why? Because I only took a heart of damage, because that's realistic. Okay, let's go see Grandma. Back to very sad music. Let's just force this bug down Grandma's throat, and she will be all better. Okay, let's let's do exactly what I said. Target her, press X, heal her with the power of butterflies. For a second, I thought you messed up. Nah, I'm, I'm a pro. And now she can see. Oh, Link, is that you, Link? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear, sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Ariel are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here, moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. We got an elix elixir? Elixir? Elixir. Elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandma f filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you any time you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless, alright? He's looking at the fireplace right now. Oh, she got up. Oh, okay. That's why he smiled. She's don't like, do anything reckless, walk. like jump off a cliff and just land on your feet. <laughs> hey, I, I did that and it only did it only did a quarter heart of damage. But yeah, uh, now we have the the elixir soup and it's it's pretty great actually. Uh, I don't really need to explain it. Can't you only get one of those at a time? Yes. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have two letters. Here's your letter. 
Notice from Beatles Shop Ship. It's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Scene. Bombs! We're, we're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to, give, where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop Ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss the huge opportunity! You got Beetle's chart! Now you know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Plus, press up on the D-pad and check your charts to view it. Here is your letter! Man, Link's, Link's a popular guy. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! I I do you have need of an empty bottle, piece of heart, or treasure chart? We have them at bargain f or spe special bargain prices, but we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop shift near Rock Spire Island. First come, first serve. I cannot wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rock Spire Shop Ship. <laughs> okay. <gasps> That's good. Good good for you, honey. You did you did the good job. Alright, now is, the Beetle is so stingy. He reminds me of Tom Nook. He, he sorta of is Tom Nook. Yeah. Now that we have gotten the grandmother. We have acquired the one grandmother. We are ready to go and look at the backside of Outset Island. No, I was not about to say something else. Uh, grab the hook, yeah. Uh, no, let's, let's go ahead and do this because I'm psychic. This way! <clears throat> As I was saying, this way! Da 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 da! Da da da! Da 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 da, we're going behind the island, and there is a whirlpool, and Nova is a monk because she's so silent. Okay, now that we're in the un unexplicably explicit whirlpool, uh, our job is to shoot bombs at this thing. We do not have Tingle out right now because he will not do anything against this, this thing. So, all I have to do is just make my shots count. And if you take too long, the whirlpool will suck you into the center, and you'll die. Now, this would have been a lot harder if we hadn't gotten that bomb upgrade. Yeah, it would. A lot harder. You have to be really careful about your shots. I would have had about, I would have 13 bombs right now. So just just as uh, some perspective, I would have thir nine bombs left. So I would have cleared this with nine bombs remaining. That's cutting it close. Well, if you had done this well, you would have yeah. had nine left. Yeah. So, cutting it, I was cutting it close if I hadn't had the upgrade. Mm -hmm. But this way I have 39 bombs left. Meet Jabu Jabu, or as this game labels him, Jabun. Now, one cool thing about this this theme music that plays only during his pre only in his presence, is that this is the theme song for um, the Jabu Jabu dungeon in Ocarina of Time. It is the exact theme song. I find that really cool. Just without some of the sound effects, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's been modernized a little bit, and it's gotten a facelift. Can music get a facelift? It, it's still the same theme, and that's just cool. It hints people that this is actually Jabu Jabu. Well met indeed, Jabun. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Osnirog! No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Now... In the New Game Plus of this, you can actually read the Hylian that he's speaking. It's translated into whatever language you're playing the game on. Hmm. Unfortunately, that is not so. Now, I'm not going to put the translation on screen. I actually think you can translate this Hylian and it, it still works. Um, because that's an incentive for you guys to play the games yourselves. Translate it with a letter chart? Yeah, hmm. I think you can. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. 
but it's just one of those it's one of those touches that new game plus drastically improves upon it makes a lot of the things make sense and there's foreshadowing in this text that suggests that of it suggests things that m will happen later when you've played new game plus mm. it just it's just really neat So just like that, without having to complete any dungeon, we just get the third pearl for free. And we we still have no idea what Jebun just said. The water spirit Jebun was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. It would have been cool if they were the actual they were the sacred the sacred stones from Ocarina. That would have yeah. been really cool. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast, cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. I believe at that point he was warning the King of Red Lions, if my new game plus is any indication. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaibon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in the, its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaibon has shown, Ga shown that Ganon has begun to take efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset Island right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. So it's it's not exactly a, a last warning, a last call for doing this, but it is a warning indeed. Wait, did the wind change? I think it did. Wait a minute. Did it? No, no it, didn't. it didn't. No, it didn't. Uh, wait, no, it, it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> Open your sea chart. It, it didn't, I, I can tell, because that's, that's the pot. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, interesting thing is that that entrance is not blocked off when you start the game, and I actually forgot to swim to it in the first couple of episodes, but I was planning on doing that. Um, you can actually swim and go in there. Now you don't have enough swim meter left to survive, you will drown and, and respawn back on the island, but it's still cool. You can, you can see it in, in its element. I guess we will. Okay. Ah, Link, you are all right. Why did you not tell me about Ariel? That was thoughtless of you. This island, oh wait, what was his voice? Cell. So many distractions. We're, we meant to just go inside a house and come back out so we can restock on beetle stuff, but Orca is Orca. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little bit more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. <sighs> you know what? Sure. Okay, now I got out. I tried to hit him while he was trying to hit- ENOUGH! I wish, as kind of like a victory thing, whenever he hit you, he would do that, uh, that really scary screech. <laughs> <laughs> that's Link that's doing that. Is it? Yeah. I guess it was wrong of me to treat you like you're a lowly page. You are a page no longer. You have now ascended to be a book. Now you are a book. Book. It is not much, but it is yours. Take this with you. <laughs> lame? Lame. Lame. What, what happens if I hit you 200 times in the face? Is it okay? Is it, do you like it if I hit you in the face 200 times? <laughs> if I hit you in the face 200 times with my sword... Do you like it? <laughs> I'm just wondering, because you seem to like it when I hit you 154 times. It would be better if I hit you 200? 300 times? What? If you hit him 300 times, there is a good reward, so I'm going to do it. Do you wish to fight me again? I mean, I can do it now, so I might as well. Just, just like the rule with the thing. And while this happens, and yes, I'm drawing out the episode. But that's what episodes are, so forget I say anything. I would like to talk about something that tickled me pink. 
Oh, there, there, there is. If you hit me 300 more times before I hit you three times. Um, it tickled me absolutely pink that this happen. For the first time at college, well, first time period, I was recognized on the street for being, for having this channel. Someone recognized me, just a random person, because of the channel. They recognized your voice. Yeah, yeah, obviously, because I haven't posted my picture on the channel. But that's amazing! Like, it makes me feel like a, a big name Let's Player. That's just, it's really cool. It's just really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm still tickled pink about that. He just, he just walks up to me ra one day af after class, and he's just like, Dude, your videos are great. I'm like, wait, what? What? And he says, yeah, you, you do a good job. And it was amazing. It was just, it's the best feeling in the world. It seriously is. You were on Cloud9 when you told me about that. Yeah, uh, it was amazing. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's kind of insane because I'm not, I'm not famous or anything. I don't have 100,000 subscribers. I just have 209 right now. And yet someone recognized me. And like, snap. They, they don't recognize me because of someone else. They recognize me because they discovered my channel, which is awesome. There we go. <laughs> That's what not shielding does. Enough. <sighs> Finally. Ah, oh, 319 slaps to my face. You have improved. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. From now on, you have my respect. I shall call you... Swordsman. Swordsman, you will likely need something like this in your travels. Take it. What? What? No. 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 It's not what I wanted. No. 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 You know, it's time like these that I've noticed that you and I have been staring deep into each other's eyes these, this whole time, and that that is a symbolism for how deep our friendship has become in this grand adventure where I have hit you 500 times in your face area and you have just continually stared deep into my eyes and we, we've we developed a friendship by this point. In fact, I think we're close enough to say that this issue has been resolved and that we are we're all the better for it, I think. Don't you agree, Nova? No, I don't. I think that this this sign that we have reached this pinnacle of of battle and fighting has symbolized the deep friendship that we feel in our hearts for each other he uses a spear i use a sword and shield but though our different our differences unite us and his hair contrasts mine which means that the illuminati have, have not been able to touch us in this struggle, and I'm going to get up to 600 because I am sick of this old man. Oh, and by the way, in case you want to do this along with me, or you want a tip on this, I actually found that he follows a pattern. Um, th this last try, I've actually discovered a pattern that he has. Um, most of the time, he will be able to, you'll be able to go through full, three, or sorry, two, full combos with him. So you can see this, one that's one combo, and then you shield once, and then you just do it again. Um, and you, you you should be able to get away with this for the most part. I've done this th this entire thing. Um, every now and then, like every, I would have to say every three cycles of this, um, he will block you on your first, first or second hit, um, but that just resets the cycle. Sometimes he'll do that a couple more times. Um, but yeah, this this cycle works pretty well. As you can see, he's he's not able to move anywhere, so there's no worry of the camera being odd. And it's it's actually pretty easy. There's no reaction time involved in this. No skill is involved. Just keeping track of the cycles and shielding when he blocks is actually a surefire way to get up to a thousand. I I actually have not been looking at the screen. Um, like, as I'm explaining this, I've been looking at Nova, seeing what she's doing on her iPod, which she should not be on, and, um, yeah, so, I've been looking at her, and... Okay, he, he told me not to speak while he was doing this challenge, because it would mess him up, so on my iPod, I drew a picture of him using a rocket launcher at Orca. <laughs> can you email that to me, so I, I think, can post it on screen? I think I can, yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm- I think I'm gonna accept my fate. Should I accept my fate? Yes. They should really have a thing where it's like, if you hit me a thousand times, you'll get like 20 heart pingers. That would be nice. Because I could get there. 
Look How at this. How about 20 heart pieces? You know what? You know what? I'm back at back in Skyward Sword. I did a certain thing where I went. I tried to beat the world record. Okay. I tried to beat the world record for the speed run of the first Gurahim battle, and I actually came very, very close. Um, I was 0.5 seconds off of the world record. Um, and I think I'm actually going to go for a bit of a, a personal record here. I'm going to go for a thousand. Oh, he's start. He's changed his pattern. He's oh, he's changed it. Look, I'll get one full combo in. First hit, he'll block. I'll get a full combo in. Careful. First hit, I'll block. He'll block. One more combo in. He's changed. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. He just changed the combo or the the rhythm. Okay, one thousand. One thousand. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness! My I hit him and he said enough. Oh, oh my goodness! Enough. Wow. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that was possible. Impressive, Link. I have lost count of how many times you've struck me. Which insinuates that he's yelling out, he's ca he's actually counting out loud. You have learned all I have to teach, Master Link. Master Link. <gasps> Master, please take this. Wow. Wow. That's cool. I guess the counter couldn't go beyond three digits. And they just covered up. Ha oh, oh wow! <laughs> ah, how pleasant. My arm feel not na feels numb. I should hope Master, so. Master, is your left in index finger not numb? You get it? Cause I'm locking oh. on. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's clever. I've never seen this text before. Well, actually, you may have. No, I've never gotten this high before, mm. ever. Wow! I did it. Personal accomplishment. My finger does feel really numb. <laughs> How did he know? Shall we link? No. To bring great honor to family. Oh, wait. Okay, could you mark the locale, please? Yes, I will. Finally, we are setting sail after at long last. I, we do have time in the episode to keep going, so I'm going to do that. We're going to be visiting the three triangle isles on the map. Um, one of which we're heading right to now, and we're going to be marking stuff on the locations as we go by um, and we're going to be visiting all three of these this episode so let's let's go yeah my fingers are numb <laughs> my fingers are very numb floating barrels let's get rupees now we're, we actually need to be on the lookout for rupees yeah we're gonna need them soon yeah um, and also now that our wallet can carry well, them soon ish now that our wallet can carry them we should be getting them <gasps> more rupees rupees bring great honor to family in great honor. Oh. oh. All right. So this is Southern Triangle Island. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh. You don't have to bomb all of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is Southern Triangle Island, and we want to be going to all of the Triangle Islands um, to do what we're here to do. Um, each of these has no purpose other than what we're doing now, which is odd, to say the least, and it's especially odd that they have those little islets right over there. Those also do nothing, and the only way you can access them is from a DQ leaf. It's just odd. I don't know. They almost seem like placeholders, but they also are necessary. I don't, I don't really get it. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold there. Or here, I guess. Can you do this before you visit Jaiban? With the other areas? Maybe. I'm honestly not sure if you can. I think you can. You place Naru's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Those things are huge. They're about the yeah, size of this island, actually. Where's Mr. Boat? 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 There it is. If only Gregory was with us now. He would have drowned when you to Ow! swim to the island. Nova, you chose this opportunity to not bomb them. <laughs> Oops. Hey, there are the guys. <gasps> what is that? Ooh. What is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to it's kind of funny. Th these guys are so close to it. Look at this. They're so close, and yet they're so far. I don't I see it on the Game Boy. We're right on top of it. Yeah, I got it. First try. So this is what we call them, Pillar of Light, I guess. 
I think there's a name for them. There but, is a light, but I can't. Or a name, but I can't. But remember. these give you something very special. Usually, I'm not sure what this one will give, but typically they're pieces of hearts or silver rupees. Silver rupee. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So silver rupees, piece of heart, some things that we'll encounter later in the game, uh, stuff like that. Okay. That is 20 tinkle bombs right there. <laughs> I, I would say I like that you uh, that you put it in that context, but also I do the same thing because. Mo all m t money means to Tingle is bombs. Tingle's a pyro. <laughs> Tingle is a pyro. Uh, okay, well, let's place the pearl. Wait a second. Did the other statue have ears? No. Oh, uh, that's that's a detail, by the way. The other one had a mouth. Mm -hmm. This one has ears. The first one was blue. It had a mouth. This one is green, closest to yellow. It, ha it has ears. The third one, the one that's red, red. And it has a nose. Yes. See, I said it looked like something from Pikmin. I, I forgot about that. De I, I knew about the detail prior. I just forgot about it. And look at the little it. thing on their heads. Yep. Uh, these are references to Pikmin. I'm not sure if that's intentional. I'm so good. It's probably intentional. It probably is. Um, I mean, obviously... Pikmin came out first, right? I think so. Yeah, Pikmin 1, of course it did. I think it was almost... It wasn't a launch title, but it was close to it. I think it also might have been planned for the N64 as well. It's re It's gonna... It's... One of the hard things about this Let's Play is is the differences in in time here, you know? No. I'm having to keep track of stuff. Could you bomb this? Well, Tingle may say no. Well, probably say no. Oh, wait, okay, I can't you. aim. The this is, is a Choo Choo location. This is Northern Fairy Island. Can you bomb it? Oops. Never mind, I got it. You're useless. Thank you. I never talked about the Blue Choo Choo's about their attack, though. They'll shock you. And shock, it's positively shocking. Isn't that kind of obvious, judging by the fact that they're coursing in electricity? Yeah, but I didn't really talk about how to defeat them. You just hit them with a boomerang or something and then attack them for reals. Now, because this is opened up by a bomb, it comes to no surprise that it would give us something regarding bombs. And in fact, this is the final bombs upgrade. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is the final bombs upgrade. Um, and it will allow us to carry 100 whopping bombs not bombs whopping bombs whopping bombs yeah it's it's pretty cool they're <laughs> they're they're whopping bombs so they blow up stuff even better if you, only they were the giant bombs from hyrule warriors 9 99 bombs not bad okay goodbye lady you you be gone you be dead <laughs> let's go No! Mm. Where's Merman? Where'd he go? I oh, he's almost in it. Oh, oh I, no, he's not. He's right there. I think that I'll get caught if I do that. Yeah, you will. I'm pretty sure I'll get caught. No, I'm not gonna the do that. The cyclone is following you. I can see it on the tingle tuner. It's moving. Okay. Well, I can't get Merman then. Yeah, it's moving. All right then. That. Now that we're here. We're going to be placing the last pearl in the statue, which you can see. Can I get around here? I want to show off that it has a nose. Oh, wait, no, no, we all... Does it have a nose? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, okay. A really big one. Yeah. So we're going to be placing it in the red Pikmin's arms next episode. Thank you so much for watching and for bearing with me as I got 1,000 hits on Orca. And next time in Pal's Play Wind Waker, we will be putting that pearl in there. We, or I, I, I will be. Nova will. Uh, I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please quick click like. And if you didn't, then uh, post a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. We'll see you guys next time for another Pal's Play Wind Waker. See ya!